James versus Amber, you are welcome to skip the new documentary on Depp and Amber Heard, this is nothing new. Another in a line of films examining the well-known battle between the former Hollywood spouses Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is the two-part HBO Max streaming series Johnny vs. Amber, The American Trial, which is now accessible to Croatian viewers. The two episodes of the documentary that are devoted to the well-publicized trial of the divisive former couple are described by The Independent as literally following the he-said, she-said format. The first section provides information about Depp's legal team's tactics and presents his side of the tale, while the second section depicts the events from Amber Heard's point of view. The Independent claims that no one who followed the trial in any way will be surprised by the documentary's substance. They claim that neither access to behind-the-scenes activities offers any fresh information. The media hysteria around the trial brought on by a defamation lawsuit based on Amber's 2018 piece in The Washington Post, in which the actress is referred to as a public figure who epitomizes domestic abuse, is given more room in the second episode. Heard did not specifically name Depp as the abuser, but the media did cover the alleged abuse that occurred throughout their divorce. According to The Independent, the production team behind the aforementioned documentary also worked on Johnny and Amber. They claim that movie dealt with Johnny Depp's lawsuit against the Sun newspaper, which led to a headline labeling the actor a wife-beater. Overall, it feels a little lackluster and cannot match the enthusiasm of the worldwide audience during the actual trial. The context is the most intriguing part since it is clear from the documentary how much better prepared, organized, and devoted Depp's legal team is. It is also amazing to see how fervently they stand up for their client. After the first episode, it is revealed that Depp is a victim who has been maltreated by women since he was a child, first by his mother and then by his wife. The unfortunate man only turns to drugs because he is a kind and noble soul who cannot survive in a cruel and horrible world. Only briefly, especially in the second episode, does more truth start to come to light. Disgusting and weirdly violent notes from Depp are read, and they illustrate the effects of his physical assaults on Heard. Nobody knows what truly transpired in their lives once the door was closed, and in the end, those who were able to sell themselves to the audience more successfully prevailed. This is the only fresh reality in this situation. It is regrettable all the more that Amber's legal team declined to take part in the documentary and retell their side of the tale. In any case, there was never a conflict of ideas and facts, but rather of perception. Depp is a true mower there, in any case.